Have you ever received a message that puts everything into perspective? So I am on my way home from an incredible time on tour writing my album with amazing musicians. Good morning campers. What's a travel vlog without showing you my starting destination, which is the same as the last video last week down in this beautiful lake. So I am on my way back at the minute to the UK. Um, I'll be in the UK a week on Monday. I'm gonna miss views like this. Yo. This week I met with a guy, Instagram name Newman Drums. Right, mate. Mate, it was quick, short and sweet. Yeah. It's very thanks for having me. I also met up with Nuri, who goes by the name of Ackley's Melodies, to have a songwriting camp for the whole weekend. Oh, you losing all your consciousness. I hate to interrupt you, but these people want to know. These people want to know who you are. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My name is Nori and I write on there Noah Avery. You got in touch in January in response to a post, right? Yeah, yeah. You commented and then we got chatting and that was in January. So that would have been right at the beginning of this tour. Now we're here, like we've been together two days. Two days, this is day two. And Noah's actually organized a different singer for every day. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we've got a guitarist as well. Guitarist, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So he's like put in a lot of legwork and I appreciate it a lot. I'm very excited for this evening. The girl is called Clara. Is Clara, yeah, yeah. Clara. Yeah. And hopefully she's arriving any minute. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah, she's arriving in like 10 minutes. Is it true? I'm a fool. Guess I'm not so independent after all. Get it fair in my overalls. Trying to forget it all. Still, you're the one I wanna call. You with the blue eyes, you call my life. So this week I received a comment on one of my videos that I almost didn't want to address. But then I was like, the only thing I've taken from this comment is positivity. So address it. I got the comment when I was driving and, and I could only think about like my my goals when I was growing up. Like what was the thing I wanted to do? So my goal growing up was to write music and travel the world. Now admittedly I thought I was going to be traveling the world maybe with like a tour with a band or something like that. But the beauty of the world that we live in now, if you have the right motivation, Isaac and myself made a whole podcast this week about motivation. 10 reasons why people are unmotivated is actually really interesting. For me I wanted to write music and travel the world right now I am doing exactly that and I'm meeting up with the most amazing people I'm seeing the most incredible places I'm I'm writing music with with people that are now friends and learning a lot about the world that we're living in everything I have taken from this trip will stay with me forever it's probably gonna be one of my biggest achievements I've done by myself so to receive a comment like that purely just gave me perspective on and time to reflect on exactly where I've come from and the dreams that I've managed to tick off my list my number one goal is officially ticked off I need to make a new one now it's genuinely been incredible I wanted to make a video about this to just say to you guys no matter what somebody says to you no matter what what happens no matter what you think you should be doing just focus on on making sure you have a goal and yeah you might not be able to focus on that working towards that goal full-time because bills need to be paid and life gets in the way but if you have a dream and you have a focus and you have a goal that you want to get to in your life don't let anything stop you don't let don't let don't let people's comments stop you and and don't let anybody that doesn't know what going what is going on behind the scenes get in your way just enjoy the journey and if you can connect with as many people as possible then amazing don't let anyone stop you mr anonymous screw you 
I'm having the best time ever. And this bus ain't for sale. He told me to sell the bus. This bus ain't for sale. I just want to say a massive thank you to Martin, Stephen and Chris for your comments on last week's video. T-shirts are still for sale if you want to put some fuel into this bus that I am not selling and help us get to the next musician that we can hopefully help and inspire. I'll see you next Wednesday. Stay positive. Don't be mean. And remember, never stop creating.